going on everyone we're back today with the pine harbor demo it's available on steam it's kind of a uh, horror game uh we're gonna just kind of get in it today and play a little bit i am not going to show you guys the full demo uh mainly because if any of you decide you want to play the game i want you all to be able to play it and experience some of it yourself so i'll give you just a little snippet here of what this game's about and uh we'll get after it all right guys let's figure out what we need to be doing here this is honestly creepy what are we in a basement the graphics look pretty good though i mean look at that water running down the wall that looks pretty legit okay so l is our light v is melee So, okay, I don't, I don't have, have any idea where we're supposed to be going or what we're supposed to be doing here, guys. So, um, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, here's an axe. Okay. I don't honestly even know what the purpose of this demo is or this game. I just know it's like kind of like a psychological horror type game. I think. Wow. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda, kinda go with it here and see what happens. An old gas oven there. Just waiting for something to pop out. Ah! So I clicked the mouse button to see what it did. And it made the axe move and uh, we hit this thing and it kinda scared me. Was not ready for that do it out in the open here there we go okay so like can you just hit stuff oh look it leaves a little chip mark that's pretty legit huh oh it's like putting holes in it like i said guys i have no idea what i'm supposed to be doing so i'm just trying stuff we're just going with it here supplies i wonder what happens if i hit this oh okay what do we got here it's 45 cal so we got uh, some ammunition, I'm guessing, for our gun. So is there other stuff I can hit? What happens if I hit, like, one of these things? Oh, yeah, it just kind of chips off the... That's pretty neat, though. I mean, that it, like, leaves marks on the things you hit. It, it just gives, like, an added sense of realism. That's pretty cool. Like, what's... I wonder what happens if I hit this thing. Yeah, I mean, it's putting dents in. It like looks like a hole right there. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool little feature. All right. We're going to start venturing. Uh-oh. My light. What happened to my light? Why did it go out? Okay. Okay. What is okay? We got a got a little pan here. I don't know what we do with that. It's a welded shut door. I'm gonna venture to guess we can't get through that. Obviously, because it's welded. We're in C2. So is this like an underground bunker, like doomsday bunker, maybe? Okay, we're gonna. Take this thing out and see what we got. What is it? I can't read that. Oh, it's a bandage. Okay. So we want to take the bandages. We obviously don't need it yet. Oh, there's a shotgun. Okay. I mean, I'm not seeing much else in this room, so we're going to head on to the next room. Ooh, there's a red light. don't know what I'm supposed to be expecting or not expecting, so I'm, like, really nervous to pop around corners. It is nice we got a little light, though. A little light here. Got some more supplies. Okay. Some more ammunition. 
What are these? Looks like 45 caliber ammunition again. Oh, I'm hearing noises. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Do not follow me. What? In the hell was that? Apparently, that was Richard, and I don't know anything about Richard other than the fact it said his name at the bottom. Do not follow me, and he shot at me. Good lord, that scared me. Okay. Our light keeps flickering. Okay, let's let's trench forward here. Let's keep going. Can I go into here? So, the extent of what we know so far is Richard does not want us to follow him. Um, but I'm going this way anyway, because it's really like the only way to go. He'd be like waiting around any corner ready to club us with an axe. I think this is the other direction we could have gone when we came through the door earlier. Am I, is this right? Yeah, I think so. And then right over here was like, oh man, I'm already turned around. I don't know where I'm at. Let's see. Okay, I have not been into that room we were just in yet, so we're going to go back. see what's in here uh oh oh my goodness why does it do that I don't like it when my light goes out got a safe here can I open this thing oh I can oh I've got to like have a code for it that's not 100% great because I don't know where to find the code I'm hearing weird. What the? Where is that coming from? Oh my goodness. Where is that coming from? Okay, we've got some more ammo here. It looks like shotgun shells, possibly. Oh, bro, I'm getting my shotgun out for this. Oh, my goodness. What is that noise? What is this? What in the actual... What is this? Okay. This is not cool. I don't know... What's going on? Okay, getting out of here. Getting out of here. I don't like it. Okay. We are out of there. And the noise has stopped. Oh my what is that all I had oh shit oh no oh no <laughs> okay well that didn't go well so maybe we can hide from these things they don't seem to be real cognizant things that are going on around them. 
until you get too close. So, like, we can just shut lights off, maybe? Just wait it out. Generator room. I bet there's a way to turn all the lights on in there. Oh my gosh. Is there one in here? Okay. Yep, there's one in there. There's only one, though, so maybe we can take it out. some supplies. I figured he was guarding something. Just some more ammo, though. Shotgun shells, it looked like. Okay, pick him back up. Oh, shit. There's another one in here. There's two in here. Oh, my gosh. It's nice if you get one hit off on them, then they kind of, like, stagger, and then they kind of, uh, get it, you know, you get a chance to take them out, but like, if you don't get that first shot off on them, goodness, man, they just bombard you. Ugh. That's disgusting. I don't see anything. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be finding. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so I saw there was a way to crouch. There we go. Let's come through here. Maybe there's something in here we can find. They are blind. Yeah, I've kind of got that. They can barely... They can barely see ya. We got anything in... Oh, here we go. Oh, we've got a big ol' thing. Day four, we'll write in this diary. Okay, here we go. The fuel for the generators and the foreman's safe. Five six two eight five eight two eight five eight two three five six two three. I found a map of our shelter showing a sewer pipe above the kitchen. If I could break through the ceiling, I may have a chance to escape. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I'm not seeing much else here. Come right by here, I dare you. Yes, sir. Is this the safe room? I think it is. Yes, okay. So we've got some codes to try so we'll just try a few first one was 56 shoot That thing comes in here. Smoking him. So it wasn't 5628. So we'll try 5828. 58. 28. That did it. Okay. So we've got fuel for the generator, but now we need to figure out how to get into the generator room. Uh, I'm down to two shots, boys and girls, on the shotgun. The old trusty shotgun's about to fail me. I can't go through there. We've already been down this way. I didn't see anything.
Oh, here we go. Bring it on, bucko. Let's go. these two up. Okay. Alright. Kind of rechecking the things here. And what is that? Oh, that's the key. So is that... What's that key for? Is that that generator room? Oh, it's gotta be. Now how do I get back to the generator room? Go right, right, and then left, I think, maybe? Right. Right. And then left. Does this get us to the generator room? I might be completely turning around here, guys. I don't know if I'm going the right direction. Feels like I am, but... Generator room. It is. Okay. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, this is where I'm going to leave you at so that uh, if you guys want to go out and check it out and play this game yourself, you can do that and not have the whole game spoiled. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.